Thought you weren't interested in that. You're back. How do you know I wasn't here all along? I can tell, Crystal. So, what is this all about anyway, this book? It's about my past. What do you feel when you look at it? I feel that my family needs to see me. They need to know that I'm all right. Don't get upset. I have been stuck in this room for days. My family must be worried sick. You're right. I don't want your family to worry. How about a compromise? What kind of a compromise? I'll send an email to Kendall and Bianca, letting them know you're okay. But I won't show you their responses unless you start cooperating. Cooperate how? Stop fighting me so hard and you might find out. All right, fine. What do you want me to do? Tell me about the best day of your life. Look, sometimes you gotta step outside of your comfort zone, okay? Well, thank you very much. I will. Do it my own way and my own time. Nice. I could just send Kendall and Bianca an email. How do you know that? Back into their accounts. You what? So this whole planning thing, is this a requirement of your job? It helps. But you know, I, I don't want to talk about work right now. It is your life, isn't it? Not anymore. Well, I mean, there's, there's a lot more to my life. Hmm. So, you okay with us being out in public like this? The two of us? Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. Maybe people would see us start talking. Who cares? If they want to talk, let them talk. I just want to be respectful. You always are. What is it? So it doesn't bother you that, that people might think that you're disrespecting Zach's memory, even if... Even if what? Well, even if, if you don't feel that way. You know what? I shouldn't. I shouldn't even go there. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's all right. Well, we spent a lot of time together after you lost Zach. Mm -hmm. You opened up to me, and and I helped you with the, your grief. But I always felt that there was something else, like uh, something that you were holding back. What would I be holding back? You and Zach. Your marriage? Was everything okay at the end, or was there something else going on that you felt that you couldn't tell me about? Wow. You are probably the most perceptive man I have ever met. Not really. Yes, no, yes, you are. Especially when it comes to me. You have this way of, of breaking through these walls that I put up and getting to the truth. And the truth is, I did something terrible. And I don't know if you're going to be able to understand it. You're invading their privacy. Come on, admit it. You're a little impressed. Besides, once they read the email from Erica, they're going to tell everyone anyways. You're breaking the law. I'm trying to do you a favor. And you're really going to lecture me on right and wrong? You bet I am. Look, I don't turn my back when things get hurt. That's not what I'm doing. No, you're not fighting for Erica. It's none of your business. You know, why don't you just go back up to that mountain so you don't have to deal with anything or anybody? Women, computers, me. Dear girls, just a quick note to let you know I'm all right. Taking some time, enjoying the view. See you soon, XOXO. That's all you, you said? I wasn't going to mention your lovely setup here. But you barely said anything. I did you a huge favor, and this is how you thank me? Well, at least I'll hear back from them. If you hold up your end of the deal, get the scrapbook. Tell me the best day of your life. That's private. We're in private. And I'd love to hear about your life. 
Well, you told me you already know all about me. You know everything. But I want to hear more from you. Your thoughts, your perspective. Take me through it, page by page. Why? Go along with this. There may be more rewards, bigger than email privileges. Well, you said that you read my autobiography, so it's all in there. That's not the same as a first-hand account. We're getting along so well now, Erica. Don't ruin it, especially when you're so close to getting what you want. The only thing I want is to get out of here. Fight me on this. You can be sure that won't happen. You're looking at all those faces, trying to figure out who I am. I told you I already know who you are, Crystal. What I am trying to figure out is how you managed to pull all this off. Somebody's got to be helping you. I mean, you certainly didn't get me all the way back from St. Bart's to Pine Valley by yourself. You seem pretty confident. Well, you've always been jealous of me, of my relationship with Jack, of my fame, of my success. Is this scrapbook of my life the the life you wish you had? You think so? With all these pictures of Jack, of course I think so. I mean, it's been very obvious for months how much you want him. You knew very well that he'd never give up on me. That's why you had to make him think that I had given up on him. And I bet you think that if you keep me here a little while longer, that then he'll he'll turn to you. Well, you are wrong, Crystal. That will never happen, Crystal. I am not Crystal. Crystal couldn't hold a candle to you. Yes, Your Honor, I did follow those braves. You penalize me. Your Honor, I have proof that those briefs were delivered yesterday. Uh, yeah, right here. Um, do you want the uh, clerk's initials that signed off on it? That yeah, was no reason to apologize. <laughs> uh, have the expert reports been filed? Yes, I have them right in front of me. Sure, just a second. Let me just get them. Thank you. Right ahead. I just feel so awful. I feel guilty. Yeah, no. You're safe with me. Hey, this is so hard. Uh, in the end, Zach and I were having problems. Problems that we we tried to solve, but we couldn't. We did everything we could, but hey, it's okay. When he died, I wasn't in love with him anymore. I'm so sorry to hear that. We, we, we did everything we could. I mean, we tried to fix it. We tried to find our way back to each other. But nothing worked. I mean, it was too late. It was over. How long had this been going on? A while. The boys and I, we came back to Pine Valley months before Zach did. You had business to tie up, right? That's what we told everyone, but... That was a lie. Zach didn't come back because he didn't want to. He didn't want to be with me. Wow. That must have been so, so difficult. It was hell. Having to stay married to a man I didn't love and having to pretend for the boys. But the worst part was, was after Zach died. What do you mean? 
Everybody was offering their condolences, telling us how perfect Zach and I were together. But I knew, I knew it wasn't real. Hendo, you could have told me. If I had, if I felt this comfortable with you, if I had, if I had known that I could trust you, then I would have. That I, that I could trust you with anything. Completely trust you.